put TV at the right place so let's start dog on away. Please like, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell. Bless, hello and greetings my viewers and subscribers, kings and queens, line and lioness, big up on yourself, and only there, all the love and blessings. We say give thanks to life, give thanks to another day. Life is the greatest, cherish each moment. You know, so we start off the vlog 2023, I wish you all nothing but prosperity and blessings, see? Yes, my viewers and subscribers, I only love and blessings, man. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Help the channel grow. I know a straight love with you lead over here, so on equality, diversity, equity. Saying thank you all for your continuous support. No, my viewers and subscribers are in this um episode of this vlog, yeah. Um, you know, big up Dennis Emmanuel Brown, you know what I mean? Yes, Dennis Emmanuel Brown. You know what I mean? Never know him, but I met his daughter, you know. Oh, yeah, Battersea. Back in our days when we just uh, coming at the music thing. You know what I mean? At studio and thing, yeah, so. This vlog is about Dennis Emmanuel Brown. Well, one of his, one of his party of close friend of his, who's a friend of mine also, you know, um, send this to me and he also made a statement and, you know, asked me if I put it out there because some, a next person put up, you know, next YouTuber, um, my fellow co-worker, yeah, made a post and said, oh, the music business mash up Dennis Brown and I killed off Dennis Brown, so. Dennis Brown brought in and said, yo, you know, um, it's not the music business kill him off. I him kill off himself because everyone know right from wrong, good from bad. So I say, danger from safety. Yeah, so I say, so I go re make on hear what the brother say and them things. Yeah, so, so big up on yourself and don't forget to like and share the content. So I say, my viewers and subscribers, so yes, my brother, I get into it and make on hear what the person has seen. And this person yeah, has been around Dennis Brown and, and other artists, you know what I mean, such as you know Gregory Isaac, Tiger, Sanchez, and many more artists as well. Because I don't know back in them days, the veteran artists have them friends, and enough of them still live and can tell the history and the tales. See? Yeah, so after the person made this post, you know, oh, the music business um, killed Dennis Brown. You know, my Dennis Brown virgin, who is my friend, you know, I mean, I don't know Dennis Brown, but I know his daughter. So big up Emmanuel Dennis Brown, the Prince of Reggae, see? Yeah, man. Everlasting King of Reggae, you know? Rest in peace, yeah. So, this is nothing to bring down or tear down. This is just reasoning. And we could know what one of Dennis Brown, bridging, close friend, is saying, seeing. And if you look into it, we are all big men and big women, and we are responsible for our own actions. So, yeah, man, let's kick it off. Dennis Brown killed himself because he was responsible for himself. And the cocaine he and others took. Stop blaming others for your own wrongdoings. I don't know why them blaming people when the man was a big man. He is an adult with wisdom, knowledge and understanding. He knew what he was doing. I choose a 9 to 5. He choose music. That's his way of making a living. And as an adult, he knew wrong from right. And whatever he does was a choice he made himself. Just take a look, just take a good look at his friends at that particular time and moment. Castro Brown, Gregory Isaac, Tiger, just a few. I remember when Dennis Brown was on stage and couldn't remember his own lyrics. Peter Oningale had to, had to sing the song and took Dennis off stage. The same thing with Gregory Isaac. He started to mess up his pants and didn't even know they had to take him off stage. Same thing happened to Sanchez. Him dropped down after taking drugs. They had to rush him to hospital from Amersmith, Apollo. My experience with coke, crack, cocaine, a good friend of mine introduced it to me. We both went up to Barbican and brought it, went back to the house and he set it up for a smoking. When it was my turn, I tried it and oh my God, that thing made me feel so sick. I never wanted to go anywhere near it and up to this day anywhere I am and people using it I become ill enough to take myself out of that environment so sad for those who got caught but it's a thing what can you say no 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 to and as a big person don't blame others or the music most artists use herbs and some upgrade to something stronger but so sad for Dennis Brown and is there anyone who learned from it? Question sign. Um, yes, my viewers and subscribers. Yes, yeah, so 
when you're looking to my viewers and subscribers um you know um this is um someone who used to be around dennis and greg with them and tiger and you know etc sanchez them so yeah he's not a musician but you know more time you know artists have them friends around them so you get me but i don't know respect to all the names that were mentioned in this vlog you get me i say utmost oh, respect because me as a youth young youth growing up listening to them you know and when you check it out a real life a real life settings no artists get got hooked good hooked on the hard drugs you know and were introduced to it and some walk away some try it and nobody as we hear the brother say him try it himself and he nearly mash him up and from that him not look back on it you know what i mean me i was introduced to it i was asked to try it being around gregory isaac one of gregory isaac producer you know what i mean you won't mention the name now the location in london you know but at the first at the only producer that ever gave me money in my pocket or my vice for i vice for him and i the only person that called me and gave me 350 pound like months after you know yeah because he said the song make a local food so you get me i acknowledge that so i was he he asked me one time at the studio if i try it because me always said and see them i do them thing you get me you see it and i said no sir you get me i was strong-minded i thought about it you get me i'm being one other people other not musician other people who you know what I mean? You know, back in the days when I had the game and thing, as many people ask, yeah. And I said, no. So, I understand. You see? It? And what the brother said, we are, we are our own. Big big man and big man. We have we know right from wrong, good from bad. You see me? Yes, yeah, so. It's not the the music business you just say mash up or, you know what I mean? Take out Dennis Brown, as well. You see, the, the other YouTuber said, you see? It? We. Because if you, you can't blame the music, you have to blame yourself. Because when you pick up gun and go bust it, you have to make that decision and that choice. You know what I mean? Same as the drugs, when you take up the drugs or even weed. When I say I go smoke weed, you have to make that choice. The first time I try cigarette, and that, that never sit well with me. I mean, I smoke it again. Once, one time I try it and it never sit well with me. I find that I don't smoke cigarette or weed straight. You see me? Yeah man, so I just say that I like this still because you know the, the bridge in say yo lion foot. You know what I mean? Why you put this out there for me? You see it? And yeah man, big up. You don't know rest in peace, tennis bone. You see what I say? Yeah man, I hold up an experience of when I think man. So you don't know. Big up on yourself, but I don't want to think in the comment section if you don't agree with what this person is saying. You know, yeah, I'm sure his story as well say. You know, him try it. You know what I mean? And it never sit well with him and him no look back on that again. He never can take the smell and them thing there, you see me? Yeah, and, you know. Enough artists, maybe that's true that Jamaican artists, man, I talk about it and artists where they dip on it as well. You know, I say, I'm America. So, yeah, I say, no, man, wait till you enter your bus and you start to tour the world from state to state and country to country. I, I saw him get influenced to it, you know what I mean? And the man who introduced him to it is a big singer, you see me? Big big singer was still alive up to this day, you see it and man I say yeah man I say yeah I say no wait till when a boss man you see me mm -hmm. I say no sir me can't try them thing me not do them thing man cause me know that no good you see it so when me go try it for me know it no good see me like how me know say gun picking up gun no good you see me yeah gun business no good so I see him as a joke so why me go do it you see me I saw me set my mindset from I was a young youth in the garrison. You see me? Yes, my viewers and subscribers, man. So, I don't know. Big up all of the fans and, and families of Dennis Brown. You know what I mean? Uh, Sanchez. All the names that were mentioned in this review, in this vlog, yeah, this reasoning. Yeah, you see it? I don't know how much utmost respect coming from Lionfoot. Is it? And the truth is the truth. You can't deny the truth. If you just know the truth, the brother talk. You see me? And it, it wasn't no secret. Everybody knows that them did, them did, they got hooked on the hard drugs, you know? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. As I say, you know, when a Gregory producer um, asked me to try it, you know? Yeah, asked me to try it. One time in the studio, in the studio, you know? You see me and the man, they acknowledge me. My songwriting and everything as a songwriter and creative because I'm there around them and observe and learn and have one and two input. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, me have a song. I say I'm gonna live my life until I die. Party at work, girl, so who can get high? And and about two years after, the man said, Yo, you know more on a song there. I get me two years after my voice it film. Cause I mean that's true that you already made me build it. But me never get the voice. You see me, cause the artist when me did go there with, you know. The focus was most on him, you know. He's a, a me did that help him and thing. And me never get provided. Two years after, me ended up work on Vice. Vice is song for him. And I'm the only producer ever give me, give me money for my song, you know what I mean? I'm a Vice for. You see it? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just say I think that my viewers are subscribers. So this is just a quick reasoning, you know what I mean? Big up on yourself and once again, big up everybody. I love and peace, you know. I'm out. Not another word out of my mouth. Remember, the choice is up to you. So think twice before you make that choice. Zane? Alright. I'm out. Thanks for watching Lionfoot TV.